is going by Dan. I'm fucking checking out Circus Maximus. Namaste. Feels like you just have to say it like that. But anyway, this comes from Gyra. Appreciate you, homie. If you guys have a request, just hit me up. I've heard one song from them a while ago. What was it called? Sin by Circus Maximus. And what I remember from them is their name was definitely fitting. Because you even had like little clown jingle bells. Not, not actual, the Christmas song jingle bells, but actual like jingle bells kind of going throughout the, the song at different parts. They were kind of mushroom headish. Relax. Everyone relax. Like young mushroom headish, but not as heavy. So like they, they didn't have, and more operatic. Their vocalist is way more operatic sounding, Circus Maximus. But the overall kind of vibe, a little mushroom head flavor, just a little. But let's check this out. Namaste. no idea what they looked like or even what I was imagining they looked like but it wasn't this this is not what I what I pictured from these people like the way they all look and that dude that's getting like armored up kind of looks like Tom Brady Harsh vocals from the drummer, but whispered harsh vocals.
is going on? Oh no! So he's not going to blow him away? We're not going to see it? Or we're supposed to assume he blows him away? Or was it just a weird camera angle and the guy getting art suited up and loading the gun was the politician? I don't think so, though. I think it just didn't show us blow him away and we're supposed to assume he does. That's what I think. But, uh, no, we got to see him blow him away. I don't know. Even if we don't see the actual shots so they don't change the rating, you know, they like have to give a warning at the beginning of the video. You got to at least pull the mother... Something's got to happen. We it, it, we saw him load the pistol for like 15 minutes, slowly. We need to see that at least be drawn. But whatever, I digress. The sound of this song was entirely different than... uh. Now, I have now a completely different idea of what this band is. Like, now I'm entirely confused. I think Sin, because Sin did have a Mushroom whom, mushroom Head-esque vibe to it. This didn't at all, like, not even close, sound like two completely separate bands. So I'm assuming this is closer to their normal sound. And Sin was kind of more of a outlier. They went for like a strange type of circusy type of sound. And that's what gave like a kind of a mushroom head. Because it had some effects, sound effects in it and stuff like that. That. I think this is close to their normal sound. It kind of subdued, heavy rock type of thing. There was very, there was almost no double pedal here. There were, again, there were some hushed, harsh vocals from the drummer for that, that one portion. But yeah, my entire outlook on what this band sounds like is now different. It's completely different. Because this this is a very standard, this is a safe, a much safer song and sound than Sin. Sin, again, is one that, it was kind of a, it's kind of a strange sound, uh, song as a whole. That's where you get the Mushmed sound from. It's kind of, it's kind of out of the box, kind of weird. This was very standard. Very safe. And again, there's only two songs. These are the only two. I, if I have to guess, this is probably closer to their normal energy and vibe and sound, which isn't bad. But you know, I kind of, I kind of dug the the strangeness of Sin because you don't really know what the hell they're gonna do. If that's their normal sound here, if this is their normal sound, you kind of can get the gist of them pretty pretty quickly. But let me know what you guys think down below. Like, like when I said I didn't know, it surprised me what they look like. That's only because from listening to Sin. After listening to this, they look like this. They look the way this song sounds. They don't look the way Sin sounds. If that makes sense. 